KSI, a YouTube sensation with over 30 million followers across all of his social media platforms. When KSI fought Joe Weller, he shut up in the boxing world by beating a man many thought he was going to lose to. His two thrillers against Logan Paul really put him on the map, but there is another opponent who everyone believes can beat KSI. His name is Jake Paul, one of the most hated men in the sport of boxing. Paul has really shot up to fame by beating names such as Tyron Woodley and Ben Askren. You could argue and say these fights were rigged or these fighters weren't boxers, but you can't take away the fact that Jake Paul has really made a name for himself in the sport. A fight between KSI and Jake Paul is bound to happen in the future. Let's break down what KSI needs to do in order to beat Jake Paul. The Jab Known by many boxing fans and pundits as a windmill boxer. A windmill boxer is when a fighter does not use a jab but relies on overhands and hooks as a strategy to win a fight. But in his recent two fights, KSI was completely different. He was using his jab more often. This jab helped him control the ring, push his opponent back as well as set up his combinations which helped finish his opponents off. He must throw the jab against Jake Paul in order to push him back and to set up his powerful combinations. Cutting off the ring. Look at KSI's previous fight against Swarms. Look how he was cleverly cutting off the ring. To say this man does not have great experience in the boxing ring or even in the sport, KSI still displayed excellent ring generalship. He needs to use this footwork against Jake Paul to push him back onto the ropes as well as take control of the ring. Just quickly, if you really want to improve as a boxer, why don't you get your boxing training sessions analysed by me. These analysed clips are going to be very similar to the ones that are in my videos, but they are going to be based solely on you to help you become the best boxer you can become. Here is my email address. If you are interested, then please message me and let's get started. Okay, back to the video. The counter right hand. This unique counter has been used by many top class fighters in the sport such as Andre Ward and Floyd Money Mayweather. This counter is a great way to deflect an opponent's right hand if they are an orthodox boxer of course. With Jake Paul's biggest asset being his powerful right hand, KSI could use the shoulder roll to deflect this punch or his movement to counter him with a right hand. By doing this, Jake Paul would be hesitant in throwing a right hand and by landing a counter right, KSI will have the upper hand and there could be a possibility that one of these counters could knock Jake Paul out. Watch out for Paul's right hand. Jake Paul's previous fight shows you how much of a vicious right hand this fighter has. KSI needs to be very cautious of this punch. The only way he is really going to block this punch is if he uses his head movement or if he keeps his left hand up when he throws his right hand. By keeping his left hand up, he will be able to deflect, parry or block the incoming right hand. By blocking Jake Paul's right hand, this will give KSI a bigger chance of winning this fight and not getting knocked out the way Tyron Woodley did. Staying composed. In the second fight against Logan Paul, there were times where KSI was in real trouble. However, when in trouble, KSI stayed calm and composed, which prevented Paul from getting the upper hand when he was coming forward to attack. KSI must show the same amount of composure to prevent Jake Paul from getting too confident when coming forward to attack. High volume punching. KSI has one of the best engines in the YouTube boxing world. His ability to throw a lot of punches when attacking against his opponents has helped him win all of his fights. Especially in his recent fight against Swarms, KSI really showed the boxing world how his punching output is levels above the rest of these YouTube fighters. He will have to throw a lot of punches against Jake Paul to prevent Paul from countering and by landing a lot of punches, Jake will eventually get knocked out. 